We live in a world fueled by technology and invention. From the food we eat to the cars we drive, from the health care we receive and the energy that we use to light up our cities. Our world has been shaped by the brilliant minds of scientists and engineers who strive to find solutions to our everyday problems and refuse to be limited by the impossible. Thanks to the federal government's investment in funding biomedical and life science research, so many scientific advancements from the West Coast to the East Coast and everywhere in between have been made possible that raise the standards of health and well-being in our nation. The U.S. Department of Agriculture funds research into preventing foodborne illness, keeping our food delicious and safe to eat. The National Science Foundation is supporting the search for alternate energy sources that can fuel our daily transportation. The Department of Energy has created the world's most powerful supercomputer. They've even funded research into studying the movement of carbon in the ocean, even setting aside funds to create the desert sunlight movement which help to build expansive solar farms to harvest the sun's renewable energy. The Department of Veterans Affairs have spent a huge effort into studying the human genome. By analyzing DNA, we could find new ways of preventing and treating illnesses in veterans and in the population as a whole. The National Institutes of Health has supported research that led to breakthroughs in medicine to help treat health complications. They also donated to the research and treatment of cardiovascular illnesses and they support cancer research into the deadly diseases that have affected our loved ones. Researchers depend on the funding from private and nonprofit organizations, but mainly government grants to reach their goals. It would be a shame to see these critical advancements go unsupported. However, due to the current economic status of our nation, this loss of support is becoming a reality. Budget sequestration has cut the Biological and Biomedical Research Fund by nearly 25%. This means that fewer research projects will be funded, which includes the areas of cancer, diabetes, vaccine development, infectious diseases, environmental protection, biosecurity, and more. This is where you come in. We need you to tell our nation that scientific research cannot go ignored by the federal budget. So, write a letter or email to your local congressman. Use social media to spread the word across the web. It's as simple as telling someone you know. The power to keep science alive is in our hands. Let's give our future scientists the tools to explore, discover, and inspire. My name is Caleb Riet, and this is our time to support the advancement of biological and life science related research. Let us inspire a new generation of young and creative scientists. Visit FASEB.org for more information. And as always, stay curious.